Mike, congratulations for being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. I have a few questions I want to ask about your background. Okay. The first one is, what individuals had the greatest influence on you and your wrestling career? Well, that would be a two-part answer. First, of course, would be my high school coach, uh, Jack Fernandes. In fact, he was the first coach to be ever inducted into the CIF Wrestling Hall of Fame in the southern section. And he launched my career. And, of course, you know, I idolized him. Um, second part would be my college coach, Fred Davis, at Brigham Young University. And, of course, wrestling in college is a, is a second plateau in a whole different world. And I think that's where I was prepared uh, professionally to coach, yes. So that would, that would be my two choices. Great. Uh, Mike, who is your idol? Do you have an idol? Well, I had an idol in high school, a wrestling idol, and his name was Ron Gilbert, and he was a year older, and I followed him every place, and he should have been a national champion. Uh, in fact, uh, we were best friends, and I followed him to BYU the next year, and um, he fell in love and, and dropped out to the LAPD, and I stayed on for four years and fell in love but dropped in and married the best-looking girl in the whole town. I'd like to ask you about that afterwards. Okay. How did you get started in wrestling? Uh, Jack Fernandes was also the football coach, see, the um, lower division football coach. And after a not very spectacular debut at 82 pounds, he came up to me after practice and said, you know, you really ought to go out for wrestling. Have, have you ever heard of Sammy DeGrace? And no. And that was it. I reached a fork in the road of life and took that turn and changed forever. What do you tri attribute your success in wrestling to? Well, like all coaches that you're going to interview today uh, are on that list, uh, um, skills, organization. But I think that uh, my ability to motivate people and I could get average athletes to perform at uh, their maximum potential, uh -huh. and uh, and we did that consistently because we didn't have a large uh, population to draw for our uh, support programs, so we had to do it all in four years from scratch, uh -huh. and and then running the family, yeah, we had fun. Is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have? Involving wrestling? As a coach, yes. Uh, that'd have to be um, uh, Mike Yamasaki versus Mel East in the state tournament. And Mel East was a two time defending state champion going for an unprecedented third championship. And he'd beaten us earlier in the year. And uh, we beat him in the quarterfinals on tactics and takedowns. And that's the first time I've ever seen a state tournament shut down. As each match would stop, the whole the referees wouldn't start the next one. They stood and watched that match. Uh -huh. uh, they're still talking about that match. <laughs> As a wrestler, uh, I'd say uh, one memory that sticks out was the time we were in Portland State, and I didn't know who Rick Saunders was because it was his, you know. We walked, I walked out on the mat, and the crowd just went crazy for this other guy. And uh, I was a little offended by that. And so I took him down. He's kind of a squirrely looking guy, you know. And uh, it got real quiet. And so I let him up and took him down again. <laughs> you know, and then the period ended and it started, well, I'm on top. Well, I'll just cut this guy and take him down. And so I let him go and uh, I was really getting quiet. And I fired a takedown and that's the last thing I remember. And I woke up on the bench and I said, what happened? And they go, you got pinned. I got pinned? How did I get pinned? I said, well, he cross-faced you and knocked you out and that was it. Anyway, my kids love that story, especially if they had a bad week. I'll tell them a story about Rick Sanders who went on to uh, be a two-time NC2A champion and what, second? Out, outstand, outstanding wrestler? Yeah. Probably one of the greatest wrestlers you, the United States has ever produced. Yeah, well, I got him as a rookie, and I didn't know who he was. Mm. Don't make him mad. 
Mike, how did you, why did you decide to become a coach? Well, I was flying around in college like a lot of people do. I didn't know what I wanted to be, and, and I said, and my roommate just explained it to me. He just said, well, what do you like? I said, well, I like wrestling. I like sports. I said, well, why don't you be a coach? And, uh, okay. In California back then, you had to have an academic major to be a coach. And so I changed my major uh, from commercial art to social science and uh, headed off for Santa Barbara where they didn't have wrestling. But I got it started in that town, and the rest is, I guess, why I'm here. Yeah. If you could start all over again, what would you do differently as a coach or a wrestler? Well, that's a real tough question because you're operating with the, within the parameters of your own experiences and the mistakes I made. You know, I had to make those mistakes to think, oh, I won't do that again. But I think probably um, maybe I wouldn't have such a chip on my shoulders because... When I came to California, you were either a Cal Poly guy or or you weren't in the club. Yeah. You know, and trying to get any respect and being the first person to win CIF championship north of this area, you know, uh, was hard to do. And uh, But I got over that, and, and they're, we're good friends now. But that would probably be the only thing. Mike, what would you like people to remember about you? Uh, that I made a difference, and um, if you're in this uh, lineup, if you're on this roster, you know, you're one of the best coaches. I'd like to be remembered for that. I'm honored to be on the list, and that uh, that I cared about the kids. They always came first, and we were we were always a class operation, discipline and uh, self control, and that always came first. And I always kept our heads up. Win or lose. Mike, in ending, how did wrestling contribute to your life? Well, it's a back to that fork in the road. It, it was my life for the last 40 years. I've been coaching, and I've coached right up to the bitter end when I retired last year. And, um, Gosh, my best friends, uh, my wife, my education, uh, everything came when I went down that road we call wrestling. And, uh, and it's been fun. It's, uh, I wouldn't trade a minute of it. Well, congratulations. A great career and a well-earned induction into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. Um, it's an honor.